Hi there, this is Jaron Alexio from ProSitorials and welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show to you how you can format your ebook so you can publish it as a normal book in CreateSpace. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to explain how you can pass your ebook to CreateSpace. So at the moment I'm using Word 2013, so if you are using a prior version to this one, you can, probably the options will look a bit different, yet you can still follow this guide and basically get to the same results that I'm going to show to you throughout this video. So the first thing I need to do is adjust the sizing of my page, because at the moment this is a A4 sizing, and this is ideal for an ebook, but for a normal book, this sizing just doesn't work well. The first thing I'm going to do is just click on this option. So I am in the home section and I'm going to click on this option over here so I can see the coding inside of my page. At the moment, I'm not going to use this coding for anything, but later on in this video, this coding will allow me to do things more easily. So now I'm going to page layout and in page layout I click on size and you can see that at the moment I have the A4 size for this page but I want to click on more page sizes so I just click on more page sizes and you can see the sizing that I have for this page so I'm going to use the most standard size for a book which is 6 inches by 9 so if you have another sizing, it might be a bit, a bit smaller or a bit bigger, then you just put the, the sizing that you are using for your book over here. But the one that I'm going to use is 6 for width, 6 inches, and height will be 9 inches. So these are the sizes I'm going to use. And I'll go to margins. And in margins, I already tried different values and I came to the, the ones that I'm going to show to you now. This, this sizing that I'm going to explain to you for margins basically works well for most formats that you want to use for your book. So basically, you just need to copy the values that I'm going to put over here. And I just go to top. I start in top and I put over here 0 0.4 for top. And over here, I'm going to put 0 0.25 for left margin. Over here, 0 0.5. And in bottom, I'm going to put 0 0.3. And over here, I'm going to put 0 0.5. So these are the values. You can copy them and just put it as your margin and you might want to adjust them a bit if you see that they aren't working well for the sizing that you have for your page and then you just need to set as default and you can see that now I have the margins and the right sizing for my book and it looks pretty good now, of course, the thing that you want to do is simply go throughout your book and basically adjust the things over here that don't look well. You sometimes may want to, to give some spacing in between lines. You may want to, for example, over here, I may want to just leave over here a break. So I just go over here and insert and I click on page break. So just adjust everything until it looks well inside of your book. Okay, so once this is done, what you want to do is insert the numbering inside of your book. Of course, for your book, especially if you publish it in Kindle, Amazon, you don't need to number your pages. But when you pass to a normal book, it's quite convenient for you to number all of your pages. But also you don't want to start by, by the, the numbering. You don't want to start in your first page, which is the title of your book. 
usually what happens is you want to start numbering on the first page where the content of your book starts. So I'm going to show to you how you can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to the page where I have my table of content and you can see that I have over here a normal page break. And what I need to do is just delete this normal page break because I want to break over here into a different section so I can start my numbering on the other page and not in this one. So once I delete this, what I do is I go to over here to page layout and in page layout you can see that you have this section called breaks. You just click on it and the break that you want to use is this one that is under section breaks you want to use next page. So you just click on this option and you can see now I have a different type of page breaks. This is a section break. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to this page where my content starts and I'm going to the footer section of this page and basically what I did was I double clicked on the footer section to open it up. And now that I'm inside of my footer section I'm going to select this option on the top so this is inside of design. I'm going to select this option called link to previous and I'm just going to uncheck it. So now what happens is I have over here which is my table of content page. I have my section 1 and then where my content uh, starts I have a different section. This is section 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to this page where my content starts and now I'm going to insert an insert section in this section I'm going to page number and now I'm going to format page number and now I'm going to click on this window I'm going to start my page my pagin pagination or page number in one. Okay, so now well, I'm going to, once again to page number and I'm going to select bottom of page. Normally you put the, the numbering on the bottom of the, the page of your book. I actually never saw a book where you have your numbering on the top section of your page. However, the one that you want to select is really up to you. I typically like to put my page number on the middle of my book because it makes everything a lot easier. So I'm just going to select this option and now you can see that where I have my title of my book, I don't have any kind of numbering over here happening and where my content starts, it starts counting as one, two and so and so on. So this is how you can quickly uh, insert the numbering inside of your book. And once this is done, you can close header and footer section. And basically, this is all that you need to do to format your, your book to create space. Once this is done, what you want to do finally is simply go to your table of content and over here you want to you want to update your table of content so what you do is you go to the references section and over here you press on update table and then you just press OK on this next window that appears and you can see that now the numbering is correct so what I'm going to do now is simply delete this my page title over here because this is a necessary and I don't want this appearing inside of my table of content. Okay, so this is basically all that you need to do so you can format your ebook to pass it to CreateSpace. Okay, so that is all for this video. 
If you want to learn more about how you can make money selling ebooks inside of Kindle, Amazon, and also in CraySpace, just check the, the video course that is called My Self Publishing. It's a very good course where you will learn a lot. Okay, so that is all for now. Please leave a like or leave a comment if you have any question related to this video. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress and internet marketing. Stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye!